All right, a shalom. First and foremost, I just want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakha Kodash. Double honors, double, like, yeah, double honors unto the apostles and the elders, a great millstone, who rule well, and peace and salutations unto the elect. And this lesson, I just wanted to go into the chariots of the Lord. You know, because you have today, you know, people calling UFOs, you know, as this world calls UFOs, unidentified flying objects. Those are really chariots of the Lord, man. You know, and inside those unidentified flying objects, you know, as this world calls it, they're not, they're not, you know, uh, little green men from Mars with big head, long, <laughs> long fingers and a black eyes, you no. Know? You know, those chariots. I mean, those un unidentified flying objects, as it will calls it, are the chariots of the Lord, man. They are vehicles that the angels use to go to and fro from the earth, man. They use them to go to and fro from the earth, which they don't need the chariots to go to and fro from the earth, but they just use them, man. You know, it's also written in the scriptures on how Yahweh Shai, you know, whom Israel enemy calls Jesus, is going to come in, you know, on a chariot, man. You know, Yahweh Shai. Is going to come in on a uh, chariot, you know, just to destroy this place, man, and to deliver the elect. You know, how is it that, you know, it's, it's not so hard to believe, man. How is I mean, how is it so hard to believe that, you know, uh, us men, you know, human fleshly men can have, you know, cars and vehicles, but the but the Lord can't, you know, who created, you know, the the idea of cars, you know. It was the Lord that created, you know, the cars, the ID, you no, know, created the cars, man. So why can't he have a, you know, vehicle of his own, you know, which he, are the chariots. So I'm just going to uh, get into this news article. It says, uh, California witness, witnesses uh, watched pill-shaped object fly 100 feet below the aircraft, man. And we're going to get uh, the picture of that, you know, aircraft, you know. And you see, you know, its shape just like as it was described, you know, in this article, you know, pill shaped. You know, this is the picture right here. That object flew under, you know, the aircraft. And as you can see, it's pill shaped. And this is the chariot of the Lord. The chariots of the Lord can come in many di different shapes and forms, man. But this is one of the forms, a pill shape. You know, but it's also... Shaped like a roll, you know, a scroll. And if you know, if you look up a picture, you know, back in the ancient days of a scroll, it would look, it looks exactly like how this looks, you know. So I'm gonna get a you no know, picture of an ancient scroll, and this is it. You see how it has the cylindrical shape, and it's elongated. You know, this is a you no know, ancient scroll, just like you know back then. So. You see how this is shaped you know, the exact same? You know? But we know this is a chariot of the Lord, and it can come in many different shapes and sizes, man. But, you know, also in the scriptures, it talks about, you know, um, Zechariah um, saw a chariot, man. And he described it as a flying roll. So, as you read here, Zechariah 5 and 1. It says, then I turned and lifted up mine eyes and looked and behold a flying roll. Right. And he said unto me, verse two, and he said unto me, what seest thou? And I answered, I see a flying roll. The length thereof is 20 cubits and the breadth thereof 10 cubits. Right. So the same thing we're seeing here, Zechariah. Probably Zechariah probably saw too. He said, "Behold, you know a flying roll. Does this not look like a roll, a, a, a scroll? You no, know, looks exactly like it. You no, know? and it was. He said it was flying, man. So that was a chariot of the Lord, man. You no know, flying so that Zechariah could see it. You no. Know? So um, let me get another scripture here in uh, Isaiah sixty six and fifteen. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. Right. So 
Hey, the Lord, you know, Yahweh Shai, which Yahweh, you know, the Heavenly Father, is going to send his son, Yahweh Shai, to destroy America, man. And with Yahweh Shai coming, he's going to come in that big fathership, you know, that big chariot, along with his angels, man. You know, and he's coming to judge this place called America, man. And he's going to also deliver his elect while simultaneously destroying America. Verse 16, for by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh and the slain of the Lord shall be many. So, and it's not talking about plead as in, please, I beg you. No, plead as in judge. You know, so let's get to another scripture. First Thessalonians 4 and 17. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught caught up together with them in the clouds and this you no know, this them is talking about you know those that died in you know believing in his truth believing in you know, Yahweh Shimon Shai man you know because there's going to be a you no know, time when you know the men of the Lord will be persecuted those that you know fear the Lord and they will be put to death you know but they're going to be the first ones you know to meet Yahweh Shai and be in those chariots man waiting for those that are alive and uh, that remain, as it's talking about here in First Thessalonians 4 and 17. So I'm going to start back up at the top. Then we, which are alive and remain, shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. And that's talking about being beamed up in those chariots, man. You know, also in the scriptures, when it's most uh, some of the times when it's talking about, you know, uh, the clouds is talking about, you know, the chariots of the Lord, man. You know, so that, you know, that a chariot of the Lord, it's like the chariot of the Lord is going to beam up the elect, those that were predestined to be saved, you know, to have that salvation. It says it's going to meet the Lord in the air, right? Chariots fly, you know, these unidentified flying objects, as these people call it, they fly in the air. They can stay in the air. They can know do all you no know, types of you know irregular movements and maneuvers that regular you know humanly aircrafts you know can't do you know so you know those elect elect men are going to be called up you know beamed up in those chariots to meet Yahweh Shai in the air man you know so you no know, that was pretty much the lesson you know, the whole point of it, you know, really, you know, because I saw this article, how, you know, this pill-shaped chariot, which also is shaped like a roll, you know, flying roll, is the same one that Zachariah saw, man. Well, I'm not saying that it probably was the exact same one, but you see how it's shaped exactly how Zachariah described it, a flying roll, man, which proves that these scriptures are, you know, faithful and true, man. You know, the Holy Bible is faithful and true, man. But anyways, I just want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rechak, Wadash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. And peace and salutations unto the